guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. This channel contains hundreds of different videos covering all manner of different patterns, techniques uh, and styles of fly tying. There's something here to suit almost everybody so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get on with the show. Hi guys, uh, what we're going to tie tonight is a really simple beginner's type pike fly. Uh, now, you'll have seen me use a lot of folding techniques and stuff when I'm tying flies, but for this I'm just going to tie a really bog standard uh, fly that should suit a beginner. So, use a hook. Use something with a short shank on it, I think. Because um, the more shank you give yourself, the more room you have to get out of proportion. So essentially here we're going to have a tail and some bit of a head. Now, I use gel spun a lot uh, to tie flies. Uh, if you have it, use it. If not, there are plenty of other threads. You can get uni big fly, stuff like that there, that you can use to tie one of these flies. So I'm going to use a white thread here. And put it onto the shank. And put a bit of super glue onto it just to stop it spinning around on it. So, uh, you can trim off these bits if you if you want. Gel spawn's not that simple a thing to cut. So, this fly, what I'm going to do is use a bit of red rabbit zonker strip and a bit of white zonker strip. But use whatever you have, whatever color suits yourself. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to cut this, pre-cut it to length. So I want the red bit a bit shorter than the other, so I'm going to have it at, this is maybe about 10 centimeters or so long. Trim that off and then set this on the shank of the hook, but with the rabbit strip bit, the hair bit pointing upwards and bind that down. Okay, so next you want to just stick in some sort of uh, flash. So we're kind of making a sandwich here. Uh, so what I'm going to use is this uh, silver crystal hair type stuff. I'm going to take a few strands of that and I just keep doubling them over and cutting the center. And that every time you do it, you get twice as many fibers in the bunch. Tie that in there and don't be worried about these end bits here. Just fold that back and it'll sit in the middle of the whole thing. And then I'm going to cut these off at the length of the red strip. Next then I'm going to take the white rabbit strip and I'm going to measure it up that it's maybe an inch or so longer than the red rabbit strip. And again, just cut that off. For a bit of added security, a little dab of super glue. Set this on top, this time with the fur bit pointing upwards and bind that down. Bit of super glue. So now we want to create the head. So You'll have seen me using uh, bucktail and all sorts of stuff to bulk this up. And you can make the fly as complicated as you want. But I'm just going to put a head on this one for a set for simplicity. So what I'm going to use is a bit of red craft fur. But use whatever you have to hand. So if you have a bit of fox or you have some other hair or wool or... Uh, EP fiber or canacalon or something like that you can use it. So if you want to make it neat you would tie it in the wrong way around and fold it back but as I said if that if you find that awkward then just put a bunch on. Simple. Put it on top and bind it down and then take another bunch and put it underneath. If your vice can flip upside down all the better it'll make it easier to do. 
to put a bunch on top, a bunch on the bottom. And bind it down. Tie that down and finish it. I'm just going to brush it out, but it's not really necessary. Once you get it into the water, it'll do the same thing anyway. And then a bit of super glue onto that tie in, and that'll secure the whole thing. So that will definitely fish as it is. And I said, if you want, most pike flies probably have eyes on them. So if you want to put some eyes on it, you'll have seen me using epoxy and stuff like that. But the handiest thing for any beginner to use uh, is this stuff. And this is Evo Stick Serious Glue. And eyes ways, you can use anything. You can get eyes in a craft store. You can buy specific 3D eyes. You can get whatever you want. Or, um, so for lightness, handy to, handiness to cast, probably the handiest thing to do is just these little foil type eyes. And all you need to do with that is put the fly on its side, put a bleb of glue on, and set an eye into it. And then flip the thing over and do the same thing on the other side. Set the eye into it and push it back. So there you go. Really simple. You can vary it to whatever color suits. You can use natural rabbit, whatever. Um, but for me, that fly, although it's not as fancy as some of the other flies that we tie, there's a lot of movement in this. Really simple to tie. Two or three materials at most. And uh, as I said, just play around with it something to get you into tying pike flies hopefully you like what you've seen tonight if you did give us a like subscribe uh, tell all your friends check out all the other videos on the channel until next time tight lines thanks for watching